So just when I thought I would never find another one again, <laughs> here I am back with another SMC Facebook find. So hey guys, what's going on? It's Colin here again. Today we are taking a look at this as an SMC model SS18, I believe, from 2001. So there you go. There's your information. You can pause it if you really want to read it. But, like I said, this was another Facebook find. So the other day I saw this pop up and I realized uh, that I had to have it. <laughs> it was only $10 and it works, apparently. So I messaged the lady that had it and I said, is it still available? She said, it's pending pickup. So I went, oh crap, so somebody beat me to it. Um, a day or two goes by, then you know, yesterday night I get a, uh, a message, hey, it's still available, you still want it? And I said, yes! <laughs> so, today I went ahead and uh, picked it up. So this is what we got. Now, I don't know how many of you guys have seen the uh, SMC SP18 uh, video, the, uh, the one I got new in box. But in that video I went into some backstory of why I've been obsessing with uh, finding one of these fans for like the last 10 years. And I thought at the time that it really was the SP-18 that I was looking for. But no, I was wrong. It was this model. Um, because now I'm lo I've looked at it for long enough, I realize, because um, I did run it, it does run, uh, the noise it makes, and also this thinner stand, the SP-18, the stand is much wider, and this cup looks different, it's much more bulged out. It's this thinner, uh, cheaper stand that I remember fixing. So. For those of you guys who didn't watch that video, or forget the backstory already, um, when I was really young, and I'm talking really young because I probably was only like this tall because this thing looked huge to me, <laughs> um, my grandpa had one of these and it was always, it was my, my great grandma's fan at some point, um, but I was never uh, old enough to know her or remember her. So, uh, anyways, it sat around at his place forever. It was always taken apart in the shed where he hung up the fan part on the wall and then kept the stand part elsewhere. But, uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, I always liked it, I always played with it, I thought it was cool. I always had a hell of a time with this stupid band, but <laughs> yeah, I was always taking it apart and playing with it and whatever. And at some point the, the base got so twisted up and broken and loose and it wobbled so bad that uh, we decided to try and fix it. So my grandpa ended up trying to braze this back together because it was this piece right here that was broken. He brazed it all up. That held for a little while, eventually it broke again. So what we did was we built this crazy wooden base. It must have been like two by six. <laughs> and it was just like, you know, one this way, and one this way, and one that way. And we screwed that thing down in the center. It was, it was ridiculous. It was probably as wide as this, if not wider. And it weighed a ton, but it was the coolest thing. <laughs> or at least I thought so. And then one day came around and I discovered tower fans. And seeing as though I wasn't super into, you know, I, w I just liked fans in general then. Now I'm more like vintage and antique fans um, and some oddballs like this. But then I didn't really care and I thought the tower fans were the coolest thing ever. So I begged my mom to get one. She said under one condition I could get one. That I got rid of that crazy, the fan with the crazy base. So naturally I was pretty torn at the time but I decided to go with the tower fan. And I might do a video of it, that the one I got because I still have it. But uh, yeah, I've kind of been kicking myself ever since because that the, the original one it went to the trash. So, yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm not happy about it either, but at the time I didn't know any better. I was really young, so I was probably the first or second grade. So, yeah. I've always kind of, I've so since then I've been looking for one, so that's right around 10 years now. Um, and yeah, I finally found the SP18. Well, first I found the, the white bladed version of this, the slightly later one from 06 in the garbage, and that was a step in the right direction. Then I found the SP-18 new in box, which I couldn't, which I thought could not, I couldn't get better than that. And then I found this one. So in grand total for the the trio, I have 25 bucks in it. So I'm pretty pretty happy. But I'm I'm damn near pos positive that this is the one. So I'm pretty happy right now. If you can't tell, <laughs> <coughs> excuse me. I'm sorry. I have allergies. If you can't tell by my voice. So um, in this video, what I want to go ahead and do is I want to give this thing a total restoration. Now, that word kind of means different things to different people. Uh, for me, I usually think of that as with antique fans and repainting them and everything, but I guess it kind of fits this build too, like I did with my little uh, Edison. We're basically making it brand new again. So, 
I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and do with this one. It needs some base work, it needs some grill work, it probably needs some motor servicing. Plus, I want to check that head wire, that infamous design. So, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and lug this thing down to the shop, and we'll get started. All right, guys, so I'm down in the shop here again. I realized I never actually showed you guys this thing running, so I figured I'd better do that before. So, go ahead and undo this twist tie here. Sorry about the background noise, I'm kind of situated right near my... Uh, computer setup down here and the fans are running pretty loud. I'm going to do a video on that at some point soon because I think it's pretty interesting. But, oh, it's already on. Well, there's, here's high. <laughs> not a ton of difference between the speeds but that's just kind of how these things are uh, this one and the, uh, the the newer one from 2006 the one with the white blades go back to high and spin down time it's actually not bad all things considered it's actually pretty good <laughs> So that's that, that's the before shot. Um, so I think for uh, this video, I, I really do enjoy doing the time lapses. I kind of like the way they come out better. So uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a time lapse for this one too, like I did with my Edison fan uh, restoration. So if you guys haven't seen that video, by the way, you might wanna check it out if you like this one. It's pretty. It's gonna be a very similar video. But uh, anyways, I guess we'll just start the, the uh, tear down time lapse now. Sorry, I know that was probably really quick, but I kind of have to stop here for a second. This is really strange. <laughs> I can't say I've ever seen that before. That pin that goes there to hold the blades on is bent back. Like, a lot. <laughs> I don't know what they had to do to do that. Um, yeah, I can't say I've seen that before. That's really interesting. Actually, you know what? I should look at the blade, which I put over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, can you see that? Somebody really, really over tightened this at some point. They actually squished down on the blade here. They, you can see how that's kind of buckled out there. And, uh, well, they bent that piece of metal too. That's pretty impressive. Luckily, they didn't really damage the blade otherwise, but, ha, huh, never seen that before.
So guys, it's done. <laughs> I can't say that it looks as good as the other one because the other one was brand new, but it looks pretty dang good. I think that whoever the previous owner was actually took care of this thing and cleaned it every once in a while because it really wasn't that dirty. Either that or it was hardly used. I mean, the worst of it was uh, a little bit of paint on it, uh, but that, I mean, that was about it. There was virtually no dust. And also, the blade has been at least taken off and put back on once because of how bent up and <laughs> smushed the back of it all was, I think I showed earlier. That was kind of interesting. Never seen that before. But yeah, I went through this thing like crazy with the magic sponge and everything. And um, yeah, it came out pretty darn good. I serviced the motor and greased the gearbox, although I probably won't be letting it oscillate too much because... Even though this isn't one of the ones I... I don't think this is one of the models that was recalled, I still get nervous. Interestingly enough, um, this one doesn't have the wire retention clip that all the other ones do. Um, even my other S my SP18, which was made the same year, it doesn't have the it it has the safety clip. This one doesn't. So I took the uh, cable tie that was holding the cord together and I made it my own uh, cable clip. Hopefully, keep that wire from moving around too much in case I do let it oscillate. But even so, I'm not going to let it oscillate without me uh, there to watch it. The stand's all right. It's a little bit scuffed and a tiny bit bent, but otherwise it's really not too bad. It doesn't wobble too much. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty freaking happy with the way this came out. So uh, let's go ahead and give it a run. I'm going to point the uh, fan away from the camera, hopefully. Let's start up on high. There's a little bit of weird yellowing going on on the side here, but it didn't come off with the magic sponge, so it's going to have to stay. But I mean, otherwise, and same thing here, there's a tiny bit of discoloration on the stand down here, but I mean, otherwise it's really not bad. Go to medium. And low. There's not a whole ton of difference between the speeds, but there's some. Go back to high and do some oscillation. That was a pretty decent amount of wind, too. It's definitely not as much as the SP-18, I don't think, but uh, it's pretty good. And you see it's wobbling a little bit back and forth. That's not because of the stand, that's actually because the floor in this basement is so unlevel. <laughs> That it actually is wobbling. Go down to medium. And low. Go back to high here. Spin down. So as you can see, that oil is already set in. That, those bearings are pretty free, so that's pretty good. Especially considering how light that blade is. That's got a pretty decent spin down time. Not bad. So, I've kind of been itching to do this since I got this fan, but now it's clean and service. I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to grab the other two SMC fans out of the attic, and uh, let's do a side-by-side -side comparison between the three of them. But first, we have to do this, because it's an SMC fan. Does it have the pedestal height adjustment squeal? Oh yes, it does. <laughs> so something interesting I learned when I set these up is that the SP18 on the left is actually newer than the SS18 in the middle that we're doing this video on. I would have thought that it would have been older, but apparently I was wrong. Something else interesting is that, uh, compared to the other two, the stand on the... Uh, the middle one here that we're taking a look at, it's painted white. Well, there's Tucker in the background too. <laughs> Whereas the other two are chromed. Just kind of interesting. I don't know, maybe uh, these two were uh, on sale at the same time and then the middle one here was much cheaper? Or, I don't know, maybe they were just using up leftover parts at this time for the SP-18? I'm really not sure, but I uh, figured why not just go ahead and fire them all up at once. So uh, here we go, I'm going to start them, up all, I'll start them all up on high. So 
So there we go. I would say the amount of power or the amount of air that they're moving decreases as you go from left to right. But between these two over here, it's really not that much of a difference, but I definitely say that one's a little bit weaker. And I think that the the uh, SP18 over here would be even stronger if the blade wasn't warped, but it is, so there's not much I can do. I'm gonna go ahead and put them all on oscillation. There you go, you can probably tell by the amount of wind noise on the camera, they are throwing a lot of wind. Here goes medium. The other thing I noticed is that the, the two on the left, so these two, the grill is uh, slightly thicker and the coating on it's kind of different. It's almost got like a kind of rubberized coating on it in a way. It's not like, it's kind of hard to describe unless you touch it. It's that like safety coating or whatever that it said on the box <laughs> that I was poking fun at, but it definitely is different than the one on the right there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't do a spin down contest here. It's going to be hard because I don't have three hands. We'll put them all up on high. So I tried to get them as quickly as I could there. It's not going to be entirely accurate. Maybe there was a second difference or something. Oh, we have our winner. <laughs> what a surprise, it's the one that we serviced today. I think those bearings are in pretty darn good shape. I mean, the one on the SP18's bearings are brand new, <laughs> and that still beat it. Um, it's possible that just because the just because they are brand new that they haven't had a whole lot of usage and oil isn't really soaking in as good as it should be. I'm not really sure, but that just kind of goes to show how, you know, how good of shape this one's in. So, I'm pretty happy. Oh, I figured I'd do a little walk around side comparison here. You can see the grill here on this one, the SP18, as, com as you know, compared to this one. It is different. This one's just metal and it's thinner gauge than these two. This one has got a little bit of that kind of grippy stuff on it, but not like the brand new one, obviously. So there's a difference there. Um, you know, I'm just looking at it. This blade might be a little warped too. Huh. See, is this one the same? Oh no, they all do that. They all kind of come forward like that. Never mind. Kind of scared myself there. <laughs> but here's what I was talking about with the stands. You can see this one's painted white, where it's, this one's chromed and that one's chromed. This one also stands, or these two stand a little taller than that one for some reason. Not entirely sure why, but yeah, it's just interesting to me that the SP18 was February, whereas this one was December of the same year. So, I'm really not sure on that, because this one's much better, you know, like this is, <laughs> this tube's probably twice the diameter of this one, and the stands are, you know, the stand on this one's much beefier. So, I don't know what the deal was there, maybe they were just using up old parts or whatever and finishing off the SB18 line, really not sure, but um, these two are pretty similar, except for the, the column, this one is much, like, wider. But I mean, otherwise, I'm pretty sure those two are like otherwise identical. Well, and obviously the blade color is different. The other thing that's interesting, this one has a knob. This one has a screw, but it's flush. And then this one has a screw that sticks out. Just little differences. Oh, and this one's cord comes out on the other side compared to these two. Huh. 
<laughs> I'm just kind of saying this for myself too, as much as you guys. It's just kind of interesting to me. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with my find today. I'm now 100% sure that this is the one I've been looking for. This is it. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and wrap up this video. And I almost forgot, we forgot to do startup sound comparisons. So here I am with the SD183. Just gonna start them up all start them all up on medium. So here we go. Now we'll go to the SS18. Here we go. And the SP-18. They all have a little bit of a startup sound, and they all sound kind of similar, but still. I almost forgot, I almost did a fan video without startup sounds. Absurd. So anyways guys, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with how it came out, and I find it very interesting to compare them all. So, uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed, so if you did, you know, thank you. Oh, I want to thank you guys all for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and all that stuff. I really do enjoy going through the comments and, you know, kind of chatting with people who have similar interests. I, I do enjoy that. So if you do have one, please leave it down below. And otherwise, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Now you know who was causing all the background noise. <laughs>